Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to chroot in to your Arch Linux. So stay tuned. Now chrooting. Oftentimes, most probably you have heard this in a lot of forums. If you go to a, a um, Linux group, you ask for some help they uh, they will tell you to ch root now ch root is not really that difficult if you have done it and i urge you to really ch root into your system or to learn how to ch root into, into your system because ch rooting is actually uh, can fix a lot of your issues in case you have issues let's say from a bad update or your system is unbootable because of some update or because of you're installing something or you have changed something and you don't have a time shift or a snapper which you cannot really boot now if you go into website on the Arch Linux they talk about the ch root now there are some reasons they have identified here reinstalling the bootloader or rebuilding this in a trimfs upgrading or downgrading and they have not mentioned here like reinstalling a kernel for example if, if let's say uh, if you are following of course the requirements is you need to have a another linux installation actually i've never done that but Installation made media that would be the your Linux um, ISO burn on a USB. That's why it's always a good idea to have one USB, a dedicated USB, either by Bentoy or with a separate USB with only Arch Linux in there. However, if you, if for example you have boot into your ISO already they only mention here now this now this command is only applicable if you have the ext4 and i'm gonna show you that later what it means what i mean because in which i have installed this the other day this is an arch plasma with a btrfs file system now i'm gonna show it to you what i mean about it it's only applicable to ext4 now of course if you want to download any packages or if you need to connect to the internet then you, have, you can use this through Wi-Fi for example you have this IWT, IWCDL utility I made a video of that few months or last year and I'm gonna put it on the description and to test if you have internet is of course you can use the ping command sending a tree packet to any website you wanted in this case is Arch Linux so as you can see I have an internet connection here N now first thing that we need to do is to identify the device or the partition in which your Arch Linux um, is mounted or sorry is installed now you can use the command lsplk F because this will give you a lot of uh, informations especially if you have a lot of partitions or if you have a lot of drive in your system as you can see here I have now on my VDA2 which is my root partition which where is my arch installed is a BTRFS now earlier I mentioned about the I mentioned about that you cannot really use this because I'm gonna show it to you now I just make it big if I just mount it directly VDA uh, sorry dev VDA2 MNT then I'm gonna mount also my boot partition you will get MNT slash boot you will get the in error that the mount point does not exist 
Now, obviously, that's because it's a BTRFS file system, and chances are there's a sub volume created in there. Now, we need to identify the sub volumes which was created in there. Now, to do this, since the DDA2 my root partition is already mounted on slash mount, we need to go into MNT and type in ls. Now as you can see in here that I have the add which is the root part sub volume at home at lag and at pkg. Now you, you don't just mount this one without properly knowing the mount points where when it was created. Now the best and to to check this we can inspect the uh, it is um, FS tab. Now to check the FS tab, we need to go into the at sub volume. So we need to change directory at, and of course it's on the configuration file etc. Since it's already there, typing ls FS tab should be in here. Now we can use a command nano. Now we'll see here that the obviously the mount the root is on at which is just slash forward slash then at home is mounted at at home at package pkg at bar pkg so and so on and so forth now you need to take notes of this this um, things because you will need that for you, you will need that in so you can mount it properly your VTRFS root partition. So take note of that. And then once you have properly take note, we can just I'm just gonna clear chains and then we need to unmount that again. So we need to remount it as a VTRFS sub volume. So we need to mount you mount MNT typing again the LSPLK nothing is now mounted now we need to mount the PTRFS volumes you know, to do that to type in mount dash O for option sub volume equals add then the device PDA2 and then where you need to mount now you need to mount it first on the MNT forward slash and then after that arrow up need to mount again the the rest which is home and then here home and then again which is the at pkg pkg and we need to go to mount it to far cache Pacman PKG. Now let's say you made a mistake, yeah, mistype. You will get the error that the mount point does not exist. And that's okay. You just need to, f you just need to really properly um, type in, oh, correct. And then we need to mount in the other one, which is the at lag and of course the mounting point is bar lag now you don't really need to mount these snapshots if you have set it up already a time shift or snapper time shift is not using a snap, snap that snapshot but if you have snapper then you need to mount also the, the snapshots in this system i have not set up the snapper yet so i don't think I don't think that there is so that's fine because I have not set it up so you don't really need to mount the snapshots then after need to mount of course your boot partition so mount dev pda1 slash mnt slash boot now typing again lsplk 
you see here that it's already properly mounted and this is what we need and after that you can just arch ch root slash mnt now you are now in your uh, partition or in your arts installation uh, of course you can install anything in here let's just say um i'm gonna so let's say uh, do i have neo fetch here yeah i have neo fetch um what can i say let's just install one package um chances are this is okay let's just install mousepad a text editor only small one now you can install anything you can um, you can install reinstall your um, you can reinstall your your kernel or you can even reinstall your grub for example if let's say you're not sure if you have a grub just check it let me just finish or let's finish this for the installation now you can just uh, if you want to check if you have grub obviously of course you can check if it's installed by invoking the command pacman dash qn and you can use the grep gruv so there is a gruv and obviously of course if you want to reinstall that you can use the grab install um, grab install um, target and so on and so forth but if you reinstall your bootloader you need to make sure that you update your grub which is grub mkconfig dash o slash boot slash um, grub slash grub dot cfg or of course it, once if you hear that you can always just change you can do basically whatever you want in order to fix your system okay so after that you can just type exit and then you type in uh, r mnt then reboot in my case i have um, let's just say i installed the mousepad earlier so oh, i need to shut down now <laughs> sorry should be no shut down now because i have the as i have set it up that it will boot on the crap so let's just say here let me just show you that the mousepad is installed this is a plasma if i remember it yeah it's a plasma and mousepad there you go okay i hope you learned something if you have any questions please let me know in the comment if you like the video please like and also please share if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button this will help me grow again this is it for today have a good day and have a nice day bye